and welcome back to another episode of Todd Teaches DDO. Um, let's see, last time we had just finished up running a few quests, um, and we're going to be starting the chain for the catacombs. So that's in the marketplace over here. Um, we're going to be talking to Friar Renault, Renault, something like that. So basically he tells us that um, he needs assistance from somebody, things are being strange inside, um, letters from Marguerite have stopped, she's in the sanctuary in the catacombs, please try and find her, see that she's safe. So okay, I'll go in the sanctuary and ask after her. Um, so we're going to be starting this in the catacombs, but first I need to change my spell over. Um, as you might imagine, the catacombs has a lot of undead. So if you have a weapon, I'm going to be using Blade of Inquisition that has some sort of undead bane or does extra damage to undead of some type, that would be useful. Or like a good aligned weapon or a holy weapon that would be useful here. Um, and then if course if you have any spells that affect undead that would be useful also. So I'm going to go into my spells level one and I'm going to change out my divine favor for seek eternal rest. That's going to increase my turn undead ability. So I'm going to do that. And we'll head into the catacombs. Now the catacombs has several quests in it. Half of them are fairly short. The other half take a little bit of time. The catacombs can be kind of annoying running around. Um, it's basically a big spiral tower. Um, up at the top is the archbishop down here. Um, there are several of the quests They just keep going further and further down. So this is the sanctuary where the first quest is. We're supposed to look for Marguerite and see if we can find her. So we're going to go ahead and go in on normal. It's called the Friar's Niece. Now one thing I will say about this quest is do not worry about trying to um, break everything on this first one because you're not going to be able to. There are several locked areas in this first one that you can't get to in this part of the quest. So you're not going to be able to break everything and get that bonus. So I wouldn't worry about it. So let's see. I come over here and I get a bat and a spider. Take out. There's another locked door here. The only direction I can go is here to the west. In the western cells, blood and bodies are everywhere, as are webs. Perhaps spiders are responsible for the slaughter. Rows of cells lie ahead. You should look in them for signs of Marguerite. So you can check all these doors. Um, many of them will have breakables. A couple of them will have chests. Um, some of them have monsters that spawn, but just check out the rooms as you're going. You're not actually going to find anything until you get closer to the end, but there may be, like I said, breakable things like that, which, again, don't worry about it the first time, but we're going to be coming back to this area a second time, and you should be able to get most of them. Um, now there will be some lock doors. If you can pick locks, that would be um, something to try and open those doors. Most of them have some sort of chest behind them. And again, just some general rooms. But there are some guys in some of them. Okay, so in this room at the end of the hall, you're going to find a shrine. 
We are also going to find a lever. lever it controls the gates of the rattle of a port color. So once you've pulled that, you. you can go all the way back to the entrance, and it will have lifted up the gate to that north hall, which, as we saw before, was locked. Now, those two on either side, the small doors are still locked. You're not going to be able to get through those ones. But now this one to the north is unlocked. Same thing, you're going to see um, long hallway. There's going to be a lot of little zombies here that can rise. Um, so you're going to get some zombies. There's going to be a secret door over here, which I guess I don't see right now. Let me see if I can search it out though. Well that's not what I wanted. I wanted to search. I apparently can't see it. That's okay. So again if you want you can check all these little rooms. Some of them will have things in them. Most of them probably won't. But you're gonna get to a T junction up here. Now what we want is over here to the right, but we're gonna go ahead and go left first. Maybe the spiders didn't kill these people after all. Maybe it was something else. Maybe it was something else. He's so serious. All right, another bat. Okay, and of course there's that lever there. We're gonna want to pull here. Just gonna clear out all these rooms. Okay. When we pull this lever, There's inside here we find a dead body and a note. note hastily scrawled upon so if you read the note, okay, it says, Father, they walk again. I have gone below. Marguerite. And then, of course, the zombie rises up. Kill the zombie, kill the bats. Grab the chest. Once you kill them, the door opens back up. And you get some more zombies that rush in after you. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my eternal rest spell. Then I'm going to try to turn. So like I said, if you can turn undead, this quest can actually go, this whole chain can go very quickly. Especially if you can just gather up a bunch of undead and turn them all at once. Um, so pretty much at this point, um, you don't even have to come down to this end on this pass through the sanctuary. We just have to escape the sanctuary, so get back to the entrance, which is pretty easy to do. We don't really get any more ambushes. Um, the zombies that were down here have risen, but we already killed some of them. And that's it. That's the end of the quest. So about a thousand XP. You go ahead and exit. Um, you're gonna want to go back outside and talk to the friar out here, and he's gonna be all upset and concerned and all that. You found her, yeah. She went down. She. Everyone else was killed by undead. Undead. That's not good. Blah blah blah. Um, go to Dryden's chamber tell him what's happened alright I'll go warn the Archbishop and then you get to pick a, a reward so pick whatever you want I'm gonna pick a Tales of Valor go back in the catacombs so now we gotta go tell the Archbishop he is up here at the top so we'll come back around run up to the Archbishop Dryden's chambers now it says this is a quest in reality it's it's not it's just an area um, to go talk to him. To speak with you so you go in, you talk to him, no time to waste, child, um, business with me, blah, blah, close, close, so he won't talk to you. Well, sucks for you, dude. So you go back out. talk to Friar again 
and he's like, he's the highest layer. Oh, I apologize. I made that mistake that time. I guess I have to talk to him twice. I thought I only had to talk to him the one time. Okay, now we'll go talk to the Archbishop. Sorry for that. Enter. Seek Dryden's Council. Archbishop now we'll see if he talks to us. Speak with you at the top of his dais. We do not grant audiences. Alright, the sanctuary has been invaded by undead. Gone below undead, how could this happen? You must search for survivors. Return to sanctuary halls of Miron. Uh, where inmates were kept, blah blah blah, halls were locked, warden has kept staircase very well. Find someone who can tell us what happened. Okay. So that advances the quest. So we'll come on down here. And you're gonna go right back to the sanctuary where we were before. And it will be the second part of this quest. So we'll go back in, return to the sanctuary, enter. Still a level three. All right, so this time, like I said, um, you can break everything if you want, kill everything. We're gonna want to go the back to the end of this hallway. Throughout the sanctuary. The scrape of bone against stone oh, sounds break. from the north wing. And I wanna go back to the end of this hall. Oh, there we go. Now I got the uh, blood stains on the floor seem to go through the wall on the right. Got the search. So there's a hidden door. So there's a chest. The when you enter in, there's a trap warning. This must be where the warden kept his keys. Okay. So I'm gonna have a bless thrown on me. See if that helps. Have my highland stay. Okay. So the trap doesn't go off till you get the chest. I'm gonna. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so it's a one-time thing there. I have my guy follow me. Alright, so like I said now, if you can, you want to break everything, kill everything. Alright, there's some zombie warriors. But my undead bane weapon is making short work of them. I'll have my hireling summon this guy. Alright, so we'll go here to the right this time. When we get about halfway down this hall, you get some undead pop up um, in this final room here. Okay, you have another shrine. What you want is in one of these side rooms. There should be another lever or something here somewhere I think hmm maybe it's in here no well, that one's locked no that I'm not seeing it. I thought that there was another lever over here. That's okay. We're clearing out all the rooms anyway. I want to get all the breakables and stuff. Okay. Well, I thought that there was something more down this way. Apparently, I was wrong. But we got the key. Which means that we can unlock the these doors. These doors relentlessly. You might be able to open them now with the master key. So that master key lets us in. Now there are two more: one here to the east, and another one to the south. You can see the one to the south is still barricaded, so we have to go this way. Um, this way lies Minon's ward. There will the will be the undead is a. Uh, there will be another lever here that will open that one. over there so check these rooms 
I do believe that there's some more breakables in the chest somewhere in one of these. There's another undead. And let's go ahead and do this. And then let's go ahead and do this. Right, I got one of them with it. Another breakable. Locked door. Some more bats. Bats are really annoying. They don't really do anything. There's still bats somewhere. Okay, when you get down here, um, a couple more bats and then some more skeletons jump up. One of them is an archer. Okay, and then you have these runes here that are intelligence runes. So we can't get that one. Unfortunately. A dirt cake man stares but we don't need to, because here we go. His eyes so talk to this guy, Fitzwood. Um... Please, she promised, promised she wouldn't hurt her. She, who is she? My mistress, of course. Marguerite, what happened here? Mr. came from below, brought friends, live dead. So many years shut up in this place. The wardens did cruel things to the poor mistress, but she showed them she did. Marguerite summoned the undead. I, she commanded the live deads, blah, blah, blah. Come on, I'll get you out of here. Okay. Before your eyes. So he disappears, but now we know that Marguerite was the one that summoned the undead. Oh, here's the other chest. I knew there was another one in one of these doors. Okay. I've got all these ones. So now let's see if we can get that other door open, because I thought that there was a lever down here. But apparently, that was not the case. Okay, I don't know why that one's not open. Let's go ahead and check the other side that we haven't been to yet. Breakable, breakable. The stench of walking corpses hangs thick in the air here. Alright, let's get all these undead in one place. Come on. Gather. Okay, we got those guys. Come up to the end. Okay. I'm not sure I thought that. There has to be another lever somewhere here. But I haven't seen it yet. There's an undead. Locked. Another door. Another door, another undead. Okay. So I think what happens here, um, we're told to return to the sanctuary's exit. So when we return to the exit, I believe what ends up happening is that that door slams shut on us. So we can't actually get out and it opens up that one that we couldn't get into before. So let's check and see if that's right. The exit gate yep. slams closed okay, as you slam approach. Shot. From the south, you hear another portcullis clatter open. So it opens up this one over here. Now we can get into here. The south wing. This way you hear the rattle of iron, the low metallic growling. Okay. I'm use my Seek Eternal Rest again. Alright, and we got a couple um, iron defenders. 
So kill these guys. Alright, check their rooms for breakables. How are we doing on breakables? Vandal bonus, not terrible. Okay, so we get another little junction here. Um, up this way, we get a few more undead, I believe, should jump out. No? Okay. So we're going to check the rooms then. Here's a chest at the end of this hallway. So we'll take those. Check the side ones here. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, there's a base. One more. Check. Nothing. Oh, there's another set of iron defenders. Okay. Door. Chests. Lots of chests if you check these rooms, so it's worth checking into them for some loot. Um, we're going to get another set of iron defenders up here. Base. And then there's the lever to unlock the door or the exit. Another chest. It's like six chests so far. This lever may open the way out. Alright, so when we pull this lever, let's see. Distance, yep, last few iron defenders. Run. So I get the last as well. here iron defenders. Alright, so it opens the doors. Oh, we got ransack. Okay, good. Any chests? No. Another locked door. Alright, so that's it. Um, there's a couple more chests if you can open the locked doors. Of course, I can't open them, so not much I can do in that case but quite a few undead to kill we got an onslaught and a ransack now we just gotta go back to the exit and that will wrap up plus alright so 2000 XP on that one alright so join us next time we're gonna return back to uh, the next quest in the catacombs so join us for that and until then have fun play games and we'll see ya